Today, I wanna to show you how to record a podcast using the Zoom video conferencing software. How you doing? My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. Thank you so much for watching this week. Today's video is brought to you by my essential equipment guide to starting a podcast. If you want to start a podcast that sounds pretty decent with some uh, affordable equipment, that link for that guide is down in the description below. You can see which equipment that I'm using, especially for this particular video, to record not only podcasts, but also video as well. It's very helpful and will give you some options if you're thinking about starting a podcast. So today we are talking about starting a or recording a podcast using the Zoom video conferencing software, excuse me. And you probably have heard a lot about Zoom in recent days as of right now, as of this recording, uh, because we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and everyone seems to be using Zoom for work parties, uh, video conferencing, web, web conferencing, work conferencing. Uh, I've even heard of some people using Zoom for dates, <laughs> so coffee dates. So it's keeping people connected in a certain way and Zoom is definitely coming out ahead. But all the video conferencing softwares out there are coming out ahead and, and trying to get people to stay connected in some way. But for you, I want you to use it for your podcast. And yeah, I realize that this video is probably out on other uh, channels uh, for people to use, but uh, it's not for this channel. And now my channel is specific just to podcasting itself. There's all kinds of information on podcasting that you can get. And if you haven't checked out my channel, I, I recommend that you go check out all the videos because most of them do relate straight and directly to podcasting. So you can avoid a lot of those pitfalls and and just if you're questioning yourself on what you should do when it comes down to a podcast, my videos should be able to help you out. So let's go ahead and get started today on using uh, Zoom for yourself. OK, now. I'm not going to walk you through the whole setup. If you have not set up a Zoom account, um, we all know how to set up an account at this point. I think we're all pretty much educated. We all have to set up an account. You're going to need an email address. You're going to need your uh, first and last name, maybe a phone number for Zoom. Um, and that's going to be pretty much about it. And once you jump in and you register for an account with Zoom, then Zoom is going to ask you to download their software to your computer for your desktop, whatever it may be, your laptop. And this is going to be for your PC or your Mac. Okay. So you're going to want to download that software yourself because that's where some important settings are going to be for yourself, okay? Now, before we go any further, I want you to know that this particular setup is using the Yamaha MG10XU mixing board, and we are using the Shure SM7B microphone that is plugged into the mixing board itself, all right? So this uh, mixing board is a USB microphone, I'm sorry, USB mixing board that is going directly into my MacBook Pro right here, and we are recording everything through this right now, and we'll do the exact same thing using uh, Zoom. You're more than welcome to use any type of setup you want. You can use, uh, you know, your onboard microphone. You can use your webcams microphone and the uh, the camera itself. The only thing I would caution against is that you're going to get a lot of feedback when it comes down to using that uh, that 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 setup. Okay, even though Zoom is doing its best to say like, oh, we don't have a lot of feedback, you're still not going to get the best audio and it can be annoying to the listener themselves okay so that's just something to think about when you're thinking about setting this up now if you want it to sound decent this is the setup that you want to have okay and we'll show you in a future video of how to get really good audio because you're going to notice that zoom's bit rate whenever they record your audio is not the best quality it's not the best quality at all so you'll want to have the best quality if you're looking to have a little bit more uh, make that podcast sound maybe a little bit more legit okay so let's go ahead and let's start from the point where we are in the software itself. So I've already got the software set up here and we've already got my name and my email address all ready to go. And we're just going to go ahead and move that on over. And here we go. Monday, April 20th. Uh, and we are, wow, look at that. It was uh, Monday, April 20th and it was four, it's 421 right now. So, um, Let's go ahead and jump on over to the settings real quick. And we want to focus on a couple of different uh, settings here. Now here you have the general settings, you're gonna have the video settings, you're gonna have audio, all this. What we wanna focus on here is we wanna focus specifically on audio and we wanna focus on recording itself, okay? So this is where the key is going to be for using this particular mixing board. And if you're using, say, a Blue Yeti microphone, because the Blue Yeti does have a an input uh, for your headphones if you're using a real small 
jack, a headphone jack, you can plug into that microphone and hear yourself in headphones. And the reason why we would use headphones is so that we avoid the feedback so that we can actually not have that feedback going back into our microphone. We're just using our headphones and that's one way to monitor not only our guests, but we can monitor how close we are to the microphone. You know, this is something that I con con consistently teach to all my students when I talk to them about uh, recording a podcast. All right. But in this particular instance, we're on the Zoom settings and we want to make sure that once we have our mixing board plugged in, we go to audio and we want to have MGXU uh, and uh, we want to have it selected. Now, if you're using the Blue Yeti, it might be the Blue Yeti. If you're using another uh, mixing board, it could be a Mackie. It might show Mackie here. It's going to be all up to you, but I'm going to have MGXU selected. And this particular setting right here is for the speaker, okay? Not just for the speaker, like say, like the guy getting up on stage, but this is for your computer speakers. How do you want to hear the person on the other end? Do you want to hear them coming through your laptop on those, those speakers, or do you want to hear them through your headphones? In this particular case, because we have the USB mixing board plugged in, this also serves as a speaker. So there is an input on the mixing board itself that is a USB mix, or a USB channel, and you can go ahead and you can adjust the volume on there. So you can adjust people's volume and get really granular with the sound here. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the speaker, and let's pl uh, let's go ahead and say if you can hear that, you probably can hear. Um, you could probably hear the uh, the sound coming on over the the test speaker, okay? So there's ringtone. Let me see here. Test speaker. You can hear the ringtone, okay? So we have that set. We know that's working. We can hear it in our headphones. If you're not hearing it in your headphones for some reason, then you have a problem somewhere. There's a connection problem. But more than likely, if you have the USB plugged into your uh, mixing board and you are going to, it's going to be channels 9 and 10 on the Yamaha M, uh, MG10XU. It'll say 9, 10, USB in. You need to have your monitor enabled. Uh, enabled, And then, of course, you're going to want to have the line USB uh, button plugged in. Uh, enabled in and you're going to want to turn the gain up or the level up. I'm sorry. You want to turn the level up and you'll be able to hear yourself. Okay. Now, as far as microphone is concerned, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Select MGXU. You have MGXU selected. And here we, if we want to test the microphone. We can go ahead and test it. So let's go ahead and do it. This is a test of the uh, Zoom video conferencing software for recording a podcast. This is a test of the uh, Zoom video conferencing software for so there you can hear, you can hear the test. It just gives you a quick snippet and you're ready to go. Okay, so you're pretty much set. You have this all ready to go. The next area you want to go to is you want to jump on over to recording. This is going to be very, very important for you. Okay, now when Zoom does record phone calls, once you start recording the, the Zoom calls themselves, it's going to save in a specific area on your computer. Make sure you have enough space on your hard drive in order to house those, those files. Okay, so here you're going to see that you can store your recording in a particular area. So here it sets up a folder for you. It says, you know, here, my MacBook Pro, uh, documents, Zoom, and it's going to set that up for you. If you want to cho choose a different location, you can go ahead and choose a different location. I would choose a different location if I were you. That would make it easier on you so you know where you can find those recordings, okay? So that might be the uh, best bet for you, okay? The next step is going to be, um, so here you want to, I says, choose a location to save the recording at, to after the meeting ends. You can go ahead and do that if you want. I have it unchecked. It's just going to be really up to you. The next setting is what's important here. Record a separate audio file for each participant. I know there are a number of podcasters out there that love to have this feature and this function. Okay, so this is going to be, especially if you're someone who is not really used to using editing software, this might be useful for you. But, and it's... It's more if you're, I guess, someone who really wants to get granular and you want to go in and you want to edit and you want to do all the, the, the fancy editing techniques and normalize and you want to equalize and everything, you can equalize each and every individual speaker who is speaking. So you'll get one file for yourself and you'll get one file for your guest. And that's how you'll be able to see, um, you know, those pieces of audio come over whenever you go into your audio editing session. Okay. So this is really, if you want to get granular, I particularly don't use this I'm in radio everything is always in real time and if you have I guess a mess up you know you should be able to fix that especially when it comes to leveling your audio itself it's really gonna be up to you okay so make sure that is enabled all right and of course here I have record video during screen sharing yeah so you want to go ahead and have that enabled and you're pretty much ready to go and we can go ahead and jump out of this real quick okay 
So let's go ahead and start a meeting right here. We're going to go ahead. Uh, we can start a new meeting if we wanted to schedule one If you and send it off to your friends. Hey, we're going to have a podcast next Monday at 6 p.m. You can do that if you want. All right. So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and uh, click on new meeting. And it's probably going to show up here in a second on the other end. Uh, let me drag that window over. Okay. So here you see it says join computer with audio. If you wanted to do that quick test of your speakers again, you can come on over and test your speakers again. And you're going to hear the ringtone. Yeah, I hear the ringtone tone and of course we want to say yeah mgxu is selected yes i hear it and yes, of course we can test our audio as we're speaking into the microphone we can test our audio as we're speaking into the microphone yeah so that that works so we're ready to go join computer with audio let's move this back over and let's just go ahead and join so we're going to go ahead and join. I got to drag the window over because it keeps going on the other screen. And here we're going to have start with our avatar. This is going to be our avatar. It's probably going to have your initials there. I have my picture there. And you can tell that your audio is actually registering through the Zoom software. So here on the lower left hand corner of that screen, you see mute. And then here you see that MGXU is selected. So the microphone is selected and the speaker is selected so that I can hear this through the mixing board. I'm using headphones that are plugged directly into the phone's input on my mixing board. If you're using a Blue Yeti microphone, you're plugging it directly into the microphone itself, not your laptop or your desktop. You want to plug it into your headphones uh, or your, your Blue Yeti so that you can hear everything clearly, okay? So we're set there. Now, if we wanted to start video, I'm going to go ahead and wave hi. The video is ready to go. I'm looking on another screen, so forgive me. And we're ready to go. If you wanted to record a video, it's, you're more than welcome to record a video. It's going to be completely up to you, okay? So once we're done uh, with that setup, we want to go ahead and click record. And now we are recording. Now, one thing that you do need to know and understand is that whenever you're recording, or you're starting a session within Zoom, we're start, we're talking about a session that is on the free plan and their free plan only allows you up to 40 minutes of free time. Now, I have been doing some Zoom calls with uh, the radio station and work and when we hit our 40 minute limit, for whatever reason, we're getting an unlimited amount of time spent. I don't know if that's something that is on their end. Um, I'm talking about the radio station's end or maybe Zoom is allowing that. Maybe Zoom is allowing extra time. I don't know. But just know you're normally going to be getting 40 minutes and then after 40 minutes it's going to not notify you and tell you that your recording is going to cut off okay so that's just something for you to know now if you're going to record a podcast and your podcast typically is like 30 minutes you want to know that you have about 10 minutes to play with so if you need to do setup in that time period and you need to say like okay we're going to hit record but i need to do i need to do some tests and make sure that your audio is coming over on my end and on your end you can hear me um you can go ahead and leave that in the recording because you're going to edit it all in post-production anyway now, if you needed to start over and do a new recording, you could definitely do that itself uh, yourself. But uh, for the most part, you're going to be set to go right here. OK, so we see that the recording is going. You can see it as it indicate as it, as it is indicated up here in the top left hand corner and down here on the lower right. And we're pretty much ready to go. We could have someone join and they'd be ready to go and we would hear them and they would show up and the recording will be fine. So we're going to go ahead and stop and you're going to see over here on, well, it's, it, you can't see it, but it's over here on my left hand side. It says the recorded file will be converted once you, you finish the meeting. So we're going to go ahead and end the meeting and end the meeting for all and we're done. And you see here it says converting meeting recording. You have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing and it's gonna go ahead and convert for you. So as it's converting, it's going to save in a particular file folder for you and you're going to be able to hear it. So once that is done converting, we will test those pieces of audio out for you and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so there it is, it's ready to go. And here you can see two different files, all right? Excuse me, you can see two different files. You see the video file. So if I were to go ahead and double click on the video file, it's going to come up over here. And if I were to go ahead and press play and now we are recording. Now, one thing that you do need to know and understand hit our 40 minute limit for whatever reason, we're getting an unlimited amount of time. So there you see the video. It's it's, you know, you can use that for your YouTube channel if you wanted to. But also you have it for audio. I have the audio here. It says audio only. And if we had another guest, you would see the other piece of audio that would be over here as well. OK, make sure that you have that set up inside of your uh, Zoom call. All right. So let's go ahead and play and now we are recording now one thing that you do need to know and understand is that whenever you're recording one thing I want you to, to take note of is the, the sound quality of zoom okay 
I don't believe Zoom records at the highest possible quality sound that you could be getting for your podcast. You're hearing a little bit of that pixelation in the background whenever you're listening to the, rep the replay of it all, and that's how most Zoom calls are. Now, how do you get to have clean audio when it comes down to your Zoom call itself? That'll be coming up in the next video, so be prepared to end on the lookout for that video coming up here real soon, but I will show you exactly how to get the best quality microphone audio while using a Zoom call so that you can make your audio recording sound much cleaner and better, okay? If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I, you know, once you subscribe, you get updates to all the videos that are on this particular channel and that little bell button will also notify you when I do drop a brand new video and it'll help you out, I'm sure, in some way, shape, or form. Again, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down in the section of this particular video. I'd be more than happy to answer you back the fastest that I can, okay? I know we're all kind of dealing with pandemic stuff right now. We're, we're still trying to adjust to normal life, so it is a little bit difficult right now, but I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.